There's a brother with, you know, with a testimony. Earl Green says the Lord completely took one of the discs out of my spine. I got to get a second surgery, spinal fusion with screw. I didn't stand for the Lord, so he damned my legs. Ooh, sheesh. Sorry, bro. Well, you know, if, if you know that's what it is, that's what it is. And now you just got to continue to follow the Lord. Pray for mercy. Pray for mercy. That's right. Pray for mercy. Pray for mercy. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 35. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore bosh that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. Right and as the scriptures say, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the Most High. All right, we all need grace out here, you know, because the Lord sees us as filthy rags as we are, you know. So we need the mediator, Yahweh Shai. I just brought a lesson out on that, and I ended up getting a strike on my other page, it's on a box too. All right, so we're here on this page. You know, bringing out another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashi and Yamashai. And as the elder said, pray for mercy. You know, I was actually moderating this uh, live right here and saw the comment when it was posted. My first thought initially was, damn, that's that's cold bloody. You know, <laughs> right? But that's Yahweh Bashi and Yamashai. And immediately a scripture came to my mind in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. All right, speaking of being contrite and not leaning to your own heart, all right, because leaning to your own heart and your own understanding can destroy yourself. The Lord says, lean not to your own understanding, right? So let's get the book of Matthew 5 and 30. This is Matthew 5 and 30. If thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not the whole body should be cast into hell right and that's a parable you know but in this case he said he lost a disc in his spine all right multiple surgeries a spinal fusion in his spine all right hey, that's a lot to deal with these are daily complications that this man has to be reminded of daily of his past actions. You know, we can all draw from this and learn from this experience. You know, it sounded like he had a, an accident or an incident that was traumatic, okay, right? But the Lord didn't take his life. He didn't kill him, right? He had mercy on him ultimately, right? And through the scriptures, the Lord said he chastises those that he loves. All right. So he will judge you according to your works, according to what you put out. All right. Let's get a scripture in the book of uh, Sirach 16. All right. It's the book of Sirach 16 and 12. It reads, as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judged the man according to his works. All right, so you get judged according to your works. You put out wickedness, all right? The Lord's going to bring that back to you. You do good, you have brotherly love, you know? Because okay, that's one of the ultimate commandments, having brotherly love, you know? You follow the precepts and the, and the law, statute, commandments, the best of your will. And the Lord's going to give you and judge you according to your works. But if you're wicked, Right? As it says in Sirach 16, 14, all right, the Lord's mercy is great, but he will also punish you because of your works. All right, Sirach 16 and 14, make way for every work of mercy, for every man shall find according to his works. That's right. And that scripture is a definition of why we have to always look in the mirror and evaluate ourselves, you know, because the Lord Yahweh. Hashem Yahushai is not mocked. He sees everything. All right, let's get that as well. The book of Galatians, the sixth chapter. This is the book of Galatians 6 and 7. It reads, Be not deceived. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is not mocked. 
For whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. Right? That's exactly what's going to happen to all of us. So we're trying to sow good seeds through the Spirit. All right? Walk in the way of our Heavenly Father directed us. We've done wickedness in our past life. All right? Jay can do everything but walk in the right way. Jay can get his Stacey Adams shined up, a nice suit. Eve go out shopping, gotta have the best of the best to go look good, but your inner core is right. Right? This is why we have to evaluate ourselves and walk in the spirit so that we can reap bountiful things. Right? Let's get that precept in the book of 2 Corinthians. It's the book of 2 Corinthians 9 and 6. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. This is why when you come into this truth, hey amen, the brothers are working, right? We're working to get the crown. We're working to sit at the same table where you have a shot, right? It's a different drive that you have. This is why the Lord says, if you love the world, the love of the heavenly father is not in you. All right, so this man, you know, he probably went through a situation where the Lord, he had to chastise him. You know, get his attention. You see? So we all have to consider the works of the Lord, even though he's long-suffering, he's patient, right? As the scripture says, he's also to be feared. And who can understand the mind of the Most High? His thoughts are not our thoughts. Right, so through the Spirit, Hey, it's a blessing in disguise to this brother because now his eyes are open to serve the Lord. See? So his comment says, this reads again, the Lord completely took one of my discs out of my spine. I got to get a second surgery, spinal fusion with screw. I didn't stand for the Lord, so he downed my leg. That's right. What does Matthew 12 and 30 say? He says, he that is not with me is against me. So one would be against the Lord. So when something happens, you know, so tragic or traumatic like this, it gets your attention, right? Make sure you like people go to jail. First thing they do is, is, you know, call on God to help them out. But when you had grace and mercy on your spare time, you was being a demon. All right, all that is being recorded. The Lord is going to keep you in that darkness unless he calls you into his marvelous light. So the spirit leads us to do what? Repent. Because Yahweh is a man of war. He wants soldiers, not men. All right, being on the fence, being lukewarm. You don't have any options in this life. It's either life or death. And those decisions are in the hand of the Lord. There's only one infinite army that's going to win at the end. What side do you want to be on? How much more can this wicked world offer you? All right. See, Jake has to wake up and understand that this is a short time that you have in this grace period. The army of the two thirds are going to be destroyed just as well as the heathen. So we have to stand up for the Lord. As he said in the book of Psalms 94 and 16, who will stand up for me against the workers of inequity? Right? And who's going to stand up against the workers of inequity? So if you don't stand up and profess and confess the truth in the sight of men, all right, being scared to lose out on, you know, particular things that might serve you well here in Babylon, then you're living a damn lie. All right? Because Yahweh Shai is the truth. Ain't no club life, no woman, no job, nothing. Your children come before the Heavenly Father. He is the creator of you and everything I just named. See? So you can't deny the Heavenly Father or he's going to deny you. Let's get that in Matthew, the 10th chapter. Right? This is Matthew 10 and 32. Whosoever... Therefore shall confess me before men. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. You got the heavenly Father on your side, the man 
of all power. What comes before that? Matthew 10 and 33, next verse, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before the Father which is in heaven. And that is fearful right there, being denied. All right? The Lord telling you, depart from me. I never know you. You know, you sit back sometimes, even myself, I've meditated on how much wisdom I would have, you know, through the Spirit, if I had found the Lord in my early 20s. You know, like some of these brothers that are coming in now, you know, or what I choose to be in the world, not knowing the gospel. You know, if you had the option, which we don't, okay. Many of us have the mind to believe that the Lord don't see us because there's so many people on earth. I can do these sins that I want to do because the Lord don't see me. Well, that's untrue because the Lord sees everything. His eyes are 10,000 brighter than the sun, all right? Which means his angels are everywhere, right? No one hides from the king of terrors and his right hand you have a shot. Nobody. It's the book of Sirach 1617. Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Lord. Shall any remember me from above? I shall not be remembered among so many people. And that's a carnal thought that we used to have. And I can get away with this because there's so many people in the world. How was your how going to see me? All right, well, that's all. Because it's finishing off, it says, For what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? And this is why the grace period is so important not to loathe his law and to find him early. He said, seek him early. You see, right? So being in the spirit of mirth and all that, man, it's gonna cause you to have an accident like Earl Green right here. You know, not to say that might happen to you, but it can happen to you. We know of a brother that's in Tampa that was scoffing. All right, he was with a camp and then he was scoffing and the brother had a car accident and ran into a tree. And it's many other situations where brothers were in the truth, they came out of the truth, went back into the world and they had some type of accident, died, some type of wickedness fell upon them. And that's called a pitiful case when the Lord will put you in that situation, you see? Right? He's going to test you. Let's get down to Sirach 9 9 and I'll close out. This is Sirach 9 and 9. It reads, Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right? So you think about athletes and actors that know about the Hebrew Israelites, Amari Stoudemire, for, you know, use him as an example. You know, you've been studying for 20 years and you ain't read no precepts, no scriptures. You ain't read Obadiah. You ain't read the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, destruction of Babylon. You, ain't, you don't know who the beast, you know, all these things, man. Right? You abuse the Lord's ways when you're going to dwell in torments. And that's that lake of fire. All right? Second Edges 9 and 10. For such as their life have received benefits and have not known me. All right? So you receive benefits and you have not known the Heavenly Father really. You have not, you don't know the things he likes. You don't know the things that he loves because you care not, right? You're gonna end up like the brother Earl Green right here. All these things can happen. Stop playing with our Lord before he do what? He said he damned my legs. Second Ezra 9 and 11, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, when as yet the place of repentance was open to them, understood it not, but despised it. You despise the repentance that was open to you, right? And then things like this happen, like Earl Green. Like the same must know it after death by pain. Death by pain is coming to all two-thirds who do not want to repent. 
all right? All men of the Lord that come out of the truth and go into the world, the Lord is going to send you through what? Pearls and death and pain when you should dwell in torments, all right? And, I, and that's not hell. That's that lake of fire caused by the missiles and destruction for the chariots. You see? Brothers ain't scared of these chariots, man, because you really don't believe. So in result with this situation, the Lord took this man's leg, right? And it humbled him to the point where he had to realize that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the only way. He's the only way. Matter of fact, let's get that before I close. This is the book of John 14 and 6. It says, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. This is why you can't deny Yahweh Shai, as we read in the book of Matthew 10 and 32. But we confess our Heavenly Father so he can confess us, all right, in front of his Father, Yahweh. Man. So I hope this lesson has been edifying to the body and elect of my Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hashem uh, Rahakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and do well and peace and salutations to all the elect. Mr. Brother Zanamah, on to the next channel.